Shabik here from Annie Online and today in this video I'm going to review the OnePlus 7 McLaren edition ported ROM for Redmi Note 7 and 7S. So without any further delays, let's start. Also Installing this custom ROM is not a huge task. You can easily install it just by going to your phone's install recovery, let it be Orange Fox or let it be, you know, TWRP. I use TWRP. I'll go to TWRP. I'll do the. Let me just show you the procedure. I'll just power off. and power button and volume up for rebooting to recovery so for installing this rom you go to your custom recovery go to wipe go to format data type yes and just uh, tap on the tick button i'm not doing that uh, since i've already installed it and after that you need to go to advanced wipe tap on delve card cage cage data internal storage and system and uh, after that just swipe to wipe and after that what you need to do is go to reboot reboot tap on reboot to recovery so again it will load uh, reboot to recovery go to install select wherever you have the rom file and after selecting that swipe to flash so the uh, installing or the flashing procedure is very simple no risks involved at all so previously i was using havoc os version 3.8 custom rom and i got frustrated as there were no security updates etc and uh, also the ui was very it became very common for me why because i keep jumping from one custom rom to another custom rom and in today's date every pic every custom rom most of the custom roms are very similar to the pixel experience ui or the stock android and i wanted something different so i went with this and one thing i must admit that if you flash this ported rom on your redmi note 7 and 7s your phone whatever hardware components are there will be used to maximum capacity or potential no doubt at all i'll give a simple example i was using havoc os and uh, while using havoc os i was not getting good amount of speed i would say on mobile data and even in wi-fi the speeds were disappointing i thought it's the issue with the service providers etc but when i switched to this rom uh, it changed my mind why because i was getting pretty crazy crazy speed when compared to the havoc os uh, experience using the mobile data and wi-fi so let's quickly just open the settings and let me just show you the about phone and about phone it will show you snapdragon 675 but we don't have the chipset in redmi note 7 and 7s we have this app snapdragon 660 and uh, device name it shows oneplus 7 pro and if you go to, if you see the android version the android version is android 10 and if you go to status the security patch level is for september 2020 and i would say it's updated no issues with this and uh, yeah let's just go back and let's just have a look at the whole settings panel okay though over here also things are pretty common the wi-fi network okay voice over wi-fi volte dual volte mobile data calling everything works there is no issue at all and uh, bluetooth also works fine i have paired mine uh, smartwatch fossil explorers gen 4 with this and it works fine and uh, in display you get a couple of options also surprisingly you see an option of refresh rate as it is a ported rom 
over here you get an option to switch between 60 to hertz and 90 hertz but we know that redmi note 7 and 7s hardware doesn't support the 90 hertz refresh rate so it's not of use otherwise you get the night mode the ambient display etc and you can uh, enable and disable a couple of options and also if you, you can go with the horizon light the edge lighting etc so that's good and uh, font size etc you can adjust and also in the screen server what you want to see clock etc you can customize that and uh, in customization if you go you can customize the wall wallpaper the clock style which appears in the ambient display and the horizon light again i showed you the button etc system icons icon pack if you go over here and i choose mclaren so if i save this this is how it looks like so not appealing at least to me i rather prefer the original oneplus icon pack yeah let's just go back and uh, you do get the just if you go to button and gestures uh, there is an option of alert slider but this is redmi note 7 and you don't get that dedicated button so in the rom in the ported rom by default you can, you get an application to you know switch your phone between different profiles like the vibration full alert mode and dnd so i have kept this icon on my home screen and whenever i want to put my phone on vibration or dnd i use this now let's just switch to this and you have a couple of quick gestures option if you draw o v etc uh, you get to trigger a specific action or specific open a specific app raise to answer switch three fingers screenshot it works see so quick if you go to navigation bar etc you can enable what type of navi navigation gestures you want i prefer this one this is easy to use now let's just go back and you get those normal options like location privacy etc storage account utilities in utilities if you go here it gives you the power for using the parallel apps what we get in miui as dual apps and if you are a person like me who switches custom roms a lot then you might miss this feature on the custom roms you have to generally download a third party app but again in the sported rom you get the privilege to use the parallel apps so that's good and also you get an app locker so that's nice i have to just enter my pin and you can enable the apps that you want you know the app locker and i'll show you let me just open my instagram as you can see either you can enter the pin or if you give your fingerprint it opens so works and also you get the option of quick reply in landscape so whenever you're watching videos or something and you get a notification to reply you just swipe down tap to reply and in one corner of your screen you can see your chat window and on the other half of the screen you get to reply to the messages basically the keyboard appears so that's a very good feature what we had in miy 12 and missing custom roms now let's just go back and the let me just show you the battery thing okay so one thing that i have observed is the battery performance is amazingly good in this when compared to other custom roms i mean when I, like when the day ends and i go to i'm about to sleep i put my phone on battery saver and uh, over night the charge percentage drops to only one percent or two percent which when compared to the other custom roms that i was using the pixel experience or the havoc os the percentage used to fall like seven to eight percent also i feel that the phone's performance has enhanced a lot i mean the speakers they have got i don't know some i it might sound stupid but it 
I feel the volume has been enhanced of the speakerphone and also the volume from the earpiece is also increased uh, which is actually a, I believe a hardware bug uh, you know probably it's going to be two years and uh, this is a bug in this device that the earpiece volume is not adequate but in this ROM I don't know what's the magic but the volume is fine and uh, let me just show you the app draw so how the app draw looks like this and if you swipe down the quick settings panel looks like this and you can customize the quick settings panel so that's it and if you press the power button you can enable these things to appear over here and the volume slider it looks like this over here and if you also you get an option to switch between the media output if you have a bluetooth speaker connected you can tap and instantly it will switch so this is a very good and a handy feature and uh, let me just show you the recents how it does look and the recents looks like this and it's amazing also the banking apps the banking apps works fine except the google pay i have not rooted this device and uh, i don't know what happens to google pay it doesn't open i'll show you if you tap on this the for uh, you people who haven't registered or when during the login phase it will ask your number but as you enter your number and tap on next it appears as a white screen nothing happens so google pay doesn't work but phone pay and paytm those app work let me just show you it will open and i've done transactions hassle free no problem in that as you can see i'll show you my history so this is how it looks and the transactions are working no issues and uh, if you tap and hold you get the options of changing wallpaper like this one this one uh, let's just switch to this one and this is a live wallpaper so whenever you unlock your phone also face lock option is available and it unlocks pretty fast also the fingerprint works fine I'll tap and the device is unlocked and the accuracy I would say is 95% at times it misses but not an issue why because the face uh, I mostly use the face unlock and one more thing I'd say another surprising feature in this custom ROM is even it, now it's the days of corona right and everyone is wearing the masks and in the face unlock feature people are facing problem why because when you are going outside maybe and you're putting on a mask and uh, when you're trying to unlock your phone by face unlock it doesn't happen but in this device or in this uh, one plus coated rom even if i wear a mask and uh, try to do a face unlock it takes a bit seconds or two seconds more time than the normal unlocking but the device gets unlocked so that's a very good and crazy feature i don't know how it happens but it happens it works fine so this is i'd say the far best custom rom i have ever used and i'm not willing to switch back to custom roms to the other custom roms with the normal stock android experience why because yeah i've been a bit bored of that same ui and it has restricted features uh, so i'm going to stick to this also while using this custom rom my phone the uh, hardware capability is been put to max and uh, i'm getting i'm feeling good and it's performing also great one plus seven mclaren edition ported rom it is definitely if you are thinking to flash this rom you can flash it gaming performance i also done gaming the gaming and the balance performance both are amazing and you can use use it as your daily driver there are no issues and uh, that's it guys that's my review i hope you like this video and if you like this video do smash the like button if you're new to our channel do also press the subscribe button 
Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Stay safe.